Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and I want to. I've covered things uh, during my practice that I couldn't get anyone else wanted to do it, or or the person wouldn't go to anybody else, and they just left it. If you didn't do it, then it would just go undone. And this is the kind of case uh, that I got on to. But for goodness sakes, when you, if you're out here and don't get a chance to go back to orthodontic school, you can go uh, get in an organization that will train you uh, starting out on very simple uh, cases. And then if you get, you learn how to do that and you see what you can do, you can take on cases like this and you may not be able to finish them properly, but you can make them so much better than they were. That's the point. And so let's get on with this one and I'll try not to uh, spend too much uh, time here with it. Uh, this this young lady come, comes in and, and she's beautiful her hair and everything, but she had a real problem with orthodontics and the facial structure uh, here. Uh, you can look at this, it needs help and from the eyes on down, everything. This lady needed help. And so uh, if I didn't do it, she wasn't gonna do anything else as best I remember. And so we went ahead and took this case knowing that it was going to be a very difficult case to do. And this is, uh, looking at it, you've got too much vertical dimension of the face. You see this too far down here, and you, that needs to be shortened. And I think they had to do and get a, a surgeon to do that, but we shortened the case, the facial structure, but we had to do a lot of stuff in between that for that. And you can look at it here from the cephalometric uh, uh, deal. And we did, took that and we t came in and, and this is uh, 1983. And you can't really tell how terrible this case is until you look in the mouth. It, it, and here we expanded it, and now they've got root resorption, you see. So we had to watch out for that. She, looked at, she had some root resorption before we started, and we have more of it after we got down the line down here. So you're going to have to be careful with that. Now, we've, uh, I've done all sorts of ages and everything else, and I've never lost a tooth from root resorption, but I've had root resorption, and so you got to take it easy with that. Now, all right, let's go on. Now, here are her models. I mean, she's got a <laughs> cross by, she's got a little of anything you can think about happening here. Cross bites and, and uh, this central and uh, cuspid are together here, and the lateral squeezed off out somewhere else. And uh, you look at from the side, it's crowded up, and it's a mess there too. And the other side is in the crossbite, and you can see the upper teeth. In other words, she's got a m mouth breathing problem, and the maxilla just didn't widen out enough, and the lower arch didn't widen either. I don't really can't tell what caused so much problem here. And look at your cuspid sitting here, and there's a lateral, and there's a central on here, so you're going to get this thing back over here. So, so there are things you can do here. Now this arch is like an arrowhead almost. It kind of almost comes together out here. We're going to go in and put a palatal separator in here, and we needed to separate that the anterior and spread it out. And I don't think in 1984 I had 
really develop that uh, spring zeal in there. But let's watch this pallet and see what happens to it. And we wind it out like mad. The lower arch, since he's a mouth breather, is a little wider, but we still have uh, cross bites in here. And we've got to spread this upper arch way on out past the uh, lower arch here. Now, here we start out. We put, uh, and I don't know how to tell you exactly how to do some case like this. Just don't get on to one unless you really know what you're doing in here. It's better if somebody else do it. But you can take a case like this if you've done stuff pretty hard. You might make it better than it is, but it's going to, you're going to, it's going to eat your lunch. <laughs> uh, you're trying to finish it. So here in this bottom arch, we've got springs and you're opening all of this up and lining the teeth up. And we're going to open this gap, you see, and bring this lateral tooth that's back in here, and this one here, back in between the cuspids and the laterals. That alone is going to help her looks a lot. And so we've got separation in there. We're starting doing that. Now let's, we've got this looking a little better up there. So we put a palatal separator. I think we used one to start off with. And now I'm going to show another one. Here's where we uh, widen this like you can look at the uh, line where we measured it here to start with. And this will be a 20, uh, about nine millimeters right in here. And uh, we spread it out, and we got it out here to about 39, we have 38, something like that. And so we're, we're developing the width of the arch, and we're still far away from there. Now this is the spring we put in here as we start widen it out, the bite opens again, and you get, and you remember when the, these two teeth were together, we got it almost uh, open there where the lateral comes in there. The other side is open too. Now here is uh, another palatal separator we put in, and we're going to widen, in other words, it's been widened out that much right there. And so we're going to increase it out here and bring this lateral and stick it in there. And this one will have to come in here and line it up. And you just work and work and you, the better it gets looking better as you go along. That kind of encourages you a little bit. And we the bite open, but then it closed back down again in doing the work. Now we've got it just about down, and we've, I think we got another separator in here, and we're going to line these teeth up and get them where they're going, coming across there looking good. So there's the palatal separator where we started. And you can see we spread it out that much to get that in there. Now, the bottom that was crowded and lined up, we were able to get it looking pretty good, you know. And now we've got the upper coming across. And we work like the Dickens to get it to this point right here. And I thought with well, this poor lady, she looks, <laughs> she looked bad, and I, I wanted to make her look halfway decent. And we got her nearly through, and the lady got married <laughs> and moved somewhere. <laughs> 
Now we've got her down to the point like this, and she got married. And so this was a tough, tough case just to get here. Now you can take it from here, and you can continue working with it, and you can get the case lined up, and it's amazing what you can do orthodontically and on a terrible case like this. So when you take something like this, don't do it at first, but as you really learn what you're doing in there, take cases like this that are hopelessly, they won't go anywhere. They're just going to have to wait till they get dentures or something. Uh, go in and do what you know how to do, and you can come out with things, and you will learn a tremendous amount of doing this, but just do it on somebody that's, in other words, uh, they can't pay you enough to do this, but you learn a lot doing it. And so we straightened her out, and she looked pretty good, and now she runs off and gets married <laughs> on you. But uh, just the fact of getting these laterals in there, and we took uh, first my cuspids out, you see. I'm going to line this back up later on, but she left and we got the bicuspids out down here, and this is coming along good. It's a 12 year motors, a six year motors. We bring this together. And so she may go somewhere else and somebody look at her and say, well, I can finish this case out. And she looks pretty good. The midline is just slightly off here. But all I'm telling you, you're going to run into people like this. And if you're good at it and you continue working with difficult cases like this, you may end up with them. If you do do a bunch of them and you know you can do it good, then you could charge a lot of money to, uh, to treat a case like this. And so anyway, it's was a lot better when she got married and moved away. And I feel like she probably got somebody else to finish it up a little bit better. But that's the way it is. We look at the finished stuff here. So this is it. And I am glad you watched this and I hope you learned just don't take a case like this unless you really have got a lot of orthodontics under your belt and you know uh, what you can do with many of these things. But you can help people greatly by doing this. So I hope you join our channel and uh, our whole deal. And thank you for watching, and I'm going to sign out now. So bye-bye.